Students will be able to graph sine and cosine functions using translations. State the amplitude, period, frequency, phase shift, and vertical shift of each function, then graph two periods of the function. Let's go with the amplitude, and the, there's a one out front here, so the amplitude is one, and then the period is equal to two pi over three, we use the k, or the coefficient of the variable. The frequency is three over two pi, it's the reciprocal of the period. And then phase shift is none right now, and if we look at, uh, I think the next one, See, we have the parentheses here, so we have a phase shift of actually pi over 4 on that one, but we'll get to that. On this one, we don't have those parentheses. And then the vertical shift is down 2. There's your vertical shift right there. So let's look at how we're going to graph this on the test. On the amplitude, well, let's do this. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the 2 pi over 3. That is the period, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 is negative 2 pi over 3, and then the amplitude is 1, so we got to go up 1 here, down 1 there, but then we'll have a vertical shift of negative 2, so we'll have to go down, the lowest point is going to be down there at negative 3. Let's not do, let's not try to do all of this in one shot, let's graph sine, so this is sine with the correct amplitude and the correct period. And so, you know, this is, uh, this is the, this would be answer if, if there wasn't a vertical shift. So now we're going to take all those points and move them down two, which means the new midline is down there. So then here, here, there, there, and then here, there we go, right there. Here's the final answer. There's a there's our graph with a vertical shift of negative 2. State the, state the same stuff for this graph right here, but before we graph it, we need to factor a 2 out. That coefficient needs to be 1. So we have x over pi over 4. Now if we distributed the 2 back through, it would be 2 pi over 4, and that would be pi over 2. That would be 2 forces 1 half. The amplitude is, again, 1 on this one. The period is 2 pi over 2, which is pi. Uh, the frequency is 1 over pi. The phase shift is pi over 4 to the right, and the vertical shift is none. We don't have a vertical shift on this. Let's graph no vertical shift, so I don't have to worry about going up or down here. The amplitude is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the period is pi, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we got negative pi over here. So let's graph cosine with the correct amplitude and period. Cosine. So it starts up here, midline, lower, midline, highest, midline, low, midline, highest. So there's cosine, like I said, with the correct period and amplitude. And now we need a phase shift of pi over 4. Well, this is pi over 2, and half of that would be pi over 4. So we need to move everything one space to the right, which means we're going to have to, we'll have to have an extra space here. So there we go. There, moving everything one space to the right, here and here. So this is our final wave. Two periods of that cosine function. Same instructions. We have the amplitude is 1. There's a 1 out front here. We probably should factor out the 2. And we get x minus pi over 6. And then minus 1. So amplitude is 1. Period is 2 pi over 2 which is pi, and then frequency is 1 over pi, phase shift is pi over 6, and vertical shift is down 1. One, two, three, four. there's pi, 
one, two, three, four, negative pi. Amplitude is one, and we're gonna go down one, so our lowest value will be down there at negative two. Let's graph sine with the correct amplitude and period. So here's sine. Here and there. Now, the problem we have is we're going to move this pi over 6, but we have pi over 2 and one space is pi over 4, and we have to move all of this over to the right, pi over 6, and then we'll move everything down 1. Well, let's look at the unit circle, and this much is pi over 4, this is roughly pi over 6. So we want to move not one space, certainly more than pi over 8, but not all the way to pi over 4. So I'm guessing that pi over 6 is about right there. So about one space over, not quite, and then down one. So over, down one, I'm going to make it a different color. How about right there? About one and down, about one and down, about one and down and about one and down right there. So here's one period of the sign, and then now I have to get the rest. About one and down, about one and down, about one and down, about one and down. I think that covers it right there. Here and there, we got it, we got it. This has about everything you could possibly have except for a change in the period. So let's go amplitude is three, period is two pi, frequency is one over two pi, phase shift is pi over four, and vertical shift is negative two. So we gotta go all the way down to well, here, I'll, draw, I'll draw this first. Period of 2 pi, 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 pi and 1, 2, 3, 4 back here, negative 2 pi. With an amplitude of 3, 3, negative 3. And then a vertical shift of negative 2, so we'll be down here at our lowest at negative five. Now this is a cosine graph, but it's also a negative cosine graph. So let's take care of negative cosine here, here all the way up to three, back to the midline and down at the bottom. So here, 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 and here. So we got this kind of initial graph right there. I need to move this pi over four to the right and down two. So this would be pi, this is pi over two. So everything moves right a half and down two. 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 Right down two. Right down two. So here is the final product with one full period, and then we need another one. Right a half and down two, down two, right a half and down two, right a half and down two. And there we have it. Well, given the graph, let's write the equation now. Write the equation of the curve as a sine curve and as a cosine curve. So we have y equals, let's find the midline for this graph is right here, because we'd go up one, two, three, or down one, two, three. Uh, so the amplitude is three. Three, let's do the sine first. Let's get the period, and from, let's say we're gonna start sine on the midline, that's where sine starts, and to get a full wave, we'd have to go to here. So that's one, two, three, four spaces. So from here to here is four spaces, and four spaces is pi over two. 
So period pi over 2 is equal to 2 pi over k. So k pi equals 4 pi. So k is equal to 4. So I have 4 times x. I'll leave room for a phase shift, and then on the end we could have a vertical shift. Now for a phase shift, sine and cosine start on the y-axis. So if I'm picking this point right here to be the beginning of sine, it's been pushed to the left one space. Well, this would be pi over 4, half of that would be pi over 8. So this has been pushed to the left pi over 8. So plus pi over 8. That would be the phase shift. And then this has been moved down 2 units, so minus 2. Now, I could have picked this point right here to start sine, but then I'd have to make it a negative sign. And then the phase shift would be to the right pi over 8 instead of the left pi over 8. So there's lots of choices here. You just have to make everything match according to the point that you've picked to start the wave. Now when we write the cosine, most of this is going to be the same. So the amplitude's 3, uh, the period is still pi over 2. We may or may not have a phase shift, and we may or may, well, we'll definitely have a vertical shift. This one's still down too. So now, depending on what point I pick to start cosine, that will dictate what the phase shift is going to be. But cosine starts either at the highest point or the lowest point. So if I pick this point right here, I don't have a phase shift, and I don't need to make it negative. So in other words, I have the answer. This is the equation if I pick that point right there. If I pick this point right there, I'll have to make it a negative cosine, and then the phase shift would be pi over 4. That would be a little bit more work to do, but that's one of the possibilities. You could also pick this one, make it a negative cosine, and then the phase shift would be negative pi over 4. But the simplest version is just pick that one right there. You don't have to make it negative. You don't have a phase shift. Oh, where's the midline on this one? I think it's that one and a half. There's the midline. So that one and a half up is the top, and one and a half down is the bottom of the wave. So our amplitude is 1.5. Sine of, I need the period. What should we pick for the beginning of sine? How about right there? Now. How am I going to, well, I'll, I can go from here to here to get the period. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 spaces. And I see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces is 5 pi. So our period is 8 pi. 8 pi equals 2 pi over k. So k is equal to 2 pi over 8 pi, which is 1 fourth. So the k is 1 fourth. Then we have x, a phase shift, and then on the end is a vertical shift. Well, the vertical shift has been, this graph has been moved uh, up 1.5, so plus 1.5. Now i got to determine the phase shift. If I'm going to use this point right here as the beginning of the sine function, then it's going to be positive, and the phase shift is 2 pi. So minus 2 pi. y equals 1.5 cosine of 1 fourth, and then x plus 1.5. Now, I may have to make it positive or negative. There might be a phase shift. It all depends on what point I want to choose. If I pick this one, which is on the y-axis, I do have to make it a negative cosine, but then I'll have no phase shift. If I pick this one or this one, I won't have to make it negative, but then I'll have to include the phase shift. So if I pick this one down here, that is the answer. I'm done.